my name is Suzanne and I am a pediatric occupational therapist from Beverly Hills, California. Today we are going to talk about how to make beautiful mosaics using sidewalk chalk. It is a fun activity to beautify your neighborhood all while working on fine motor skills. It's super easy. All you need is two different items tape, and this could be blue painter's tape or masking tape, and a variety of different sidewalk chalk. The first step you're gonna do is you're gonna take your blue tape and you're going to sketch out your design. You can see that my eight-year-old Jay, he's over, been over here working on it. Jay, will you add another piece? Wherever you'd like, you can add it. So he's gonna decide where he wants to make that geometric shape, lay that tape down, working on judging the size. And then from there, I'm gonna hand him our different chalks, our colors of choice for the day. And here you go, Jay, when you're finished, good work. Go ahead and start coloring anywhere you'd like. Now, a child using chalk is wonderful. It is great for many different reasons. First of all, with chalk, when you're pushing into the, into the sidewalk, you're working on force and gradation of pressure, which will work on strengthening our hands. It's a great fine motor activity. Now, you could be using thick chalk like what Jay has there, but if I was working with, with a child who was having difficulties with holding their pencils or their crayons correctly, I would offer them little tiny pieces just like this. Little tools for little hands. This little chalk, I can't hold it with my fist like this. I'm holding it with just my three little fingers. And from there, go ahead, Jay, you wanna add some white in? Um, and I'll, can I add some more white here? Perfect. So I could go ahead and add some white in here and it's working on my grip. I'll leave this over there for you. So we're working on strength, gradation of pressure and more. Now on the other side, what you see over here, this is the finished product. All right, let's talk about some challenges that you may face when doing sidewalk mosaic art. Number one, chalk, if you don't have it at your home, that's all right, you can make it yourself. The do it yourself recipe is super easy. All you need is one cup cornstarch, one cup water, and some food coloring. Voila, you have, um, you have chalk that is chalk paint. Now what's great about the chalk, the chalk paint is if your child is defensive and they don't like the touch of chalk on their skin, they could use a paintbrush and just paint it down. Now, if you or your child does not like the sound, the auditory feedback of the chalk on the cement, that's okay too. Just take your chalk and dip it in a little bit of water. Don't drown it, just dip it. And when you do so, it's going to take back some of that auditory feedback. Now, what happens if you make a mistake? Oh, I love it when we make mistakes because guess what? We could clean it off with little sponges and both these little sponges and the little chalk are from Handwriting Without Tears, Learning Without Tears tools. And we could take this little, little sponge and we could go ahead and correct it as well. Or you could use any type of a, a spray bottle and by using a spray bottle, when a child is pushing it up it open and close, we're working on strengthening of the fingers. So, hey Jay, will you come over to my other side for me? Let's go ahead and take a look at what this sidewalk chalk has made. Go ahead, rip it off. I'll help you on this corner. All right, so we're gonna take this chalk. We're gonna take off the tape. And let's see what we have here. There you go. There's some over there. All right, let's show. Beautiful sidewalk art. Jay, do you think our neighbors are gonna enjoy some of the ways that we added to our neighborhood with some beautiful art? Yeah. So do I.